Now in this video we are going to learn about the top command. Okay, so before starting this video, uh, first of all let me tell you about the what is the top command. Okay, so if you have learned about the ps command, like which gives us the process states of uh, like of our this system. Similarly, top command is also one of the command which lies under the process management. Okay, we can get the uh, information about the different processes like what is the PID of that particular process how much memory is being used by that process okay we will see all the details and what are the users and what are the users using that particular process so everything we are going to see about in this particular video so we will start with the simple and basic uh, command that is a top simple when you hit top then uh, it will show you the details about the other running different running processes by different users and all those things okay uh, but before that let me just increase the size of my terminal i hope it is visible to you I'll just hit top. Okay. So here you can see uh, the PID. The what PID? What does it mean? I will tell you everything about the all these three. What is these all things? Okay. But before that, I will need to separate like this the screen, and I will just open one command line also. Okay. So here you can see what is the PID. PID just define the process ID. Like uh, if you don't know about PID, let me tell you. Like uh, like uh, every device has a unique MAC address. Similarly, PID is just like that. Like it is, it uniquely identifies each processes. Whatever the process created by the user, then the our system assigns some PID to that particular process to uniquely identify that process. Similarly, that is the process ID. Okay. Moving forward, uh, if you will see the user, so user section just uh, defines like who is the user using that particular process uh, don't give attention on spelling mistakes okay that is not important here right now so what is PR PR is just uh, like priority okay. okay what is the priority of that command so the thing is that if the your uh, what we say the number is lower so it should have the higher priority so you can see the zero uh, so these processes have should have higher priority okay like you can see 20 minus 51 so it is you can see 20 20 everything is there like so here you can write the lower the number higher the priority what does priority mean basically like this process like for if something happens to the more priority command or more priority process then the cpu uses should do like not cpu uses just think like example suppose there are two processes a and b and uh, b the, the priority of b is uh, low but priority of a is high okay if some interruption happens with it then then a can use more cpu uses you can say like that okay so this is the defines the pr like what is the priority of that particular process of command and for the uk you will see here it is virt which basically defines the virtual memory used by the task okay it is i think it's in kb it uh, is in kb okay uh, so that's why it's showing like bigger number okay so it is uh, virtually you can say well, not virtually virtual memory used by the task okay moving forward what is this res so res is uh, what we can say uh, I think it is the physical RAM, yeah, the command used, uh, like whatever the process is running, like how much RAM this is particularly using, like this particular process, how much RAM it is using, so it is also in the KB, this data is in KB, okay, and uh, moving forward, if you will talk about the SHR, so SHR is nothing but a shared memory, it, is, it also in KB, okay and then the percentage cpu percentage memory time and what are the other option you can see here uh, where it is time plus command all those things like uh, this is this uh, this shows the uh, which command uh, like uh, after entering which command this process is running okay so here you can see all those things okay if i will just uh, yeah wait a minute what I will do first, I will just uh, stop this top command and I will again run that top command and I will show you one thing. Okay, so here you can see the top command is running. 
okay like uh, different processes coming here and there okay now what i will do uh, but command is not visible let me just try and create this one yeah yeah now you can see the command is visible if i do control alt t and i will hit this firefox okay so this command what it will do it will just create a new process okay and then again you can see here if i will hit enter in this particular terminal then firefox will come up there and the uh, some PID will be assigned to that. So here you can see which command is this Firefox and the particular time you can see how much CPU uses per memory plus virtual memory okay and RAM also and who is the user I use is the user and the PID is 4790 okay so in this way this particular top command works which displays you the particular information about any particular process okay so now what we have to do uh, if you want to just uh, what you can see uh, you can say like uh, if you want to get information about the particular user like uh, so let's suppose i want to get information about the ayush user what process is being used by that particular user so i can use those command also okay but before moving to that uh, i will just tell you one thing like if you want to kill any process while using top command how you can do it you have to just uh, in this particular terminal uh, let me just increase this one okay uh, where it is uh, I think uh, this one yeah this one Firefox is running Firefox PID is what 4790 now what we have to do you have to just uh, hit K so when you will uh, enter K so here you can see PID to signal default PID is 1622 so here you can do uh, like um, enter the PID of the process which you want to kill or which you want to close. So if I will search for Firefox, uh, I think it was 4790. Okay. So let me just uh, save this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Here you can see 4790 is some process. Hmm, let me just uh, increase this one, the width of it. So 4790, I'm not able to see 4790. Here you can see 4790 is this one. So I will just hit K and I will write enter 4790. Enter and here you can see the what happens when you kill the command, uh, not command, when you kill the process, then you need to give the particular signal. So in this case, I will hit 15. So you can see like Firefox has been closed and also here you can see the terminated okay so why I entered the P, uh, 15 because uh, like it's kind of one of the signal which we use with the kill command okay so we will talk about the kill command in some another particular video okay now moving forward what uh, uh, I was telling about uh, to get information about the process used by some particular user so how you can see you uh, like how you can do that what we have to do you have to just enter top hyphen u and the name of the user Ayush and uh, here you can see all the processes which are being used by this particular user oh I think multiple processes are being used okay so in this way you can get information about particular uh, user if you want to like if you work in the corporate world and you get uh, like as a Linux administrator then in that case it will be very useful like to know like which user is using what kind of processes when something happens then you can see okay and also there are multiple things like uh, you can if you will hit Z then the running process color will get converted into this uh, what we what red color and if you will do press uh, like what you can say if you press C then you will get the path of particular command like go uh, for which in which path that command is particular running so here you can see the genome cell is in user bin directory and many more things here it is okay so that's all for today's videos guys i hope you liked it and if you have any queries then you can ask us in the comment section so thank you thank you for watching and i will meet you in the next video thank you